Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is an energy of new opportunities. Somebody here wants to make a new opportunity with you. Um, this can be a new person. This could also be someone who's younger than you, but it doesn't have to be. There's just this energy of an opportunity to start. So there is a work in progress type of energy. Something is in its development stages, and someone here is really wanting to prove themselves. They're willing to go the extra mile to prove themselves as being a great co a candidate um, in your eyes. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, Earth Energy. The Emperor, Aries energy, and the Ten of Swords in the reverse, air energy. Okay, so with the Ten of Swords in the reverse, you may be healing from something. You may be letting go of something that was painful. Yeah, it could have been in a betrayal with the Ten of Swords, but some sort of painful ending. You are moving on from it. There's this energy of you are ready to move forward and you are showing up in that Emperor energy. You're someone who is empowered. You're someone who has learned from experience. And there's just this energy of you... Um, you still being on top, you know, there's this energy of not staying down for long, you know, there's rising from the ashes type of energy with the Ten of Swords in the reverse and the Emperor. So there is someone here who is interested in you. There is someone here who's focused on you, wanting to create an opportunity with you, wanting to be seen by you, wanting you to um, take them seriously. This person at this time, they may view you as someone who has you know, who's not invested in them, someone who's not seeing them with that seven of pentacles in the reverse. They want to change this. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse, and this is a energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So definitely there's something here, something from your past or a, something, a recent ending of some sort, or even if it's not a recent ending, there's just some sort of betrayal or pain that you are starting to get over. You're starting to heal from, you're starting to no longer lose sleep over it. You're not bothered by it. And it's something that may have taken you a while to pick yourself up from. And it's like you are getting into this place where you are um, at peace. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Two of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy, the Five of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Okay, so definitely um, there's people who are interested in you. There could even be competition. Um, someone in particular wants to be seen, wants to be noticed. The, this is with the, the Page of Pentacles, this can be someone who you know, isn't someone who's easy to notice, but they are diligent, they are conscientious, they are um, the type of person who is consistent and they are serious, their intentions, they really want to grow something with you or they want to start something with you. Um, but there is an energy of there's more than just them involved here or they, they have competition or they perceive the situation as if they would have competition. Um, but with the Two of Swords, 
being in the reverse, um, some sort of blocks are being removed. And this could have something to do with this Ten of Swords being in the reverse. You could have been in the process of healing or letting go of something that was painful and ending. And this could have kept you almost blocked off or emotionally unavailable or closed off to other people. Um, but with the Two of Swords being in the reverse, there's this energy of um, some sort of uh, walls are coming down. Um, you know, there's this energy of you um, being more open to seeing other opportunities, um, acknowledging other opportunities, um, being more available in some way, emotionally available. Um, but there is also this energy of you knowing your worth, you you prioritizing yourself, your responsibilities with that Queen of Pentacles energy there as well. Um, but this person here, this Page of Pentacles person, they, they, there is something about them. It's like you haven't had the opportunity or given them some sort of an opportunity to um, begin something here or to deepen something here but this person from their perspective they see you as ideal they see you as someone with the perfect qualities this person sees you as the one that they want to invest in they want to um, build something with they want you to get to know them they want to get to know you this person wants more with you okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you scorpio says adjustments are required third quarter moon okay so there is definitely this energy of um wanting to work through other things first before um opening up to someone or, or allowing someone a chance um there is this energy of with the the five of wands preparing um having to make certain adjustments um needing to remove certain blocks as well okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you scorpio we have retreat it's time to disconnect from the world so there is this energy of disconnecting from outside influences you could be just in a different um phase uh, than this person because there is this energy um with the seven of pentacles being in the reverse and those adjustments are required there is this energy of it's not the right time for something but someone is wanting to push for something someone is um waiting to initiate something um but it's like you guys are on different pages uh because with this emperor energy it's like you're you're very mo much more um self-focused or focused on your responsibilities or your healing um but there's something about you that comes across as if you don't notice this person or you're not connected to them or you're not open to them at this time and um this person is like they want to prove themselves to you okay so i'm going to put another card for you scorpio God says, forget me not, eternal memories. The best things in life are the people you've loved, the places you've seen, and the memories you've made along the way. Okay, so this could be you reflecting back on some sort of ending. It does look like you're coming out of that ending, you're leaving something behind, and there is still some memories that linger. There is this energy of um, reflecting at times on the past or on something that ended. But at the same time, it's like you are doing this from a liberated place. There is this energy of you getting understanding of why something happened the way it did. And from this place, you're getting some sort of acceptance or peace over that situation with the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so I'm going to take some messages for, um, from this person or from the person on your mind or the person that is coming in or the past person um, from them or their higher self, okay? Okay, 
So we have I look for you everywhere. We also have I know I messed up everything and I can't stop thinking about you. Okay, so definitely there is someone here who betrayed you in the past or there was just a very painful ending and this person they haven't forgotten about you. We also have forget me nots. Um, this person thinks about you. There's also an energy of you thinking about them or thinking about that situation. But you getting, it's like you're finally getting peace over that situation. Um, but this person, they they acknowledge that they messed up. This person is um, someone who, um, you know, they're starting to take accountability. And there is this energy of um, them thinking about you. And um, it's, it's almost like they wish things were different. Um, but there is like they, there's this understanding that they missed up, that they can't have this back or that something is done. Um, but they, the, this person, they think about you a lot, but there's also an energy of them not doing anything about it. You know, it's like they feel as if they did too much. They can't change it, but they wish things were different. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. I hope you have a really, really good day, Scorpio. Bye, Scorpio.